hello friends welcome back so in the previous video we have done validation for username so we can do the same for email password and confirm password after that we will set our error message so we can see the actual error on the browser so first one is email okay so in the input we will write ref which is equal to register and here inside this we will write required which is equal to email is required then we need to write pattern which is equal to an object which has value and then we need to add the pattern so i have already i already have the pattern okay so let me copy this and let's go to visual studio code and here we need to paste it okay this i should be small you can just type it out okay then we need a message enter a valid email address let's save this so we are done with the email now we will do it for password so here we will write ref which is equal to now we need to register it here we need to write required which is equal to password is required min length and this will be an object which has value which is 8 and message password should be at least 8 characters ok so this is done now we need for confirm password so here we need to write ref which is equal to register and inside this we will have an object which is required please confirm your password validate which is equal to value and then an arrow function now we will need if condition so if value which is equal to get values okay so this get values we are getting from here so this is the get value okay so we are getting it from here from react from libraries okay so if it is equal then we should match the password and if it is equal then return true else return the password do not match okay let's save this so we are done with the validation now we need to show the error message so for that first we, we will do it for username so after the input we will add error message okay so this we are getting it from here error message okay so inside this here inside this tag we will pass error which is equal to error name is equal to username then we have uh, message okay uh, not here we should write this inside this so here we need to write message and then an arrow function messages and object dot entries messages dot map 
and inside this we need type and message here we need an arrow function and here we can give the message in p tag so here inside this we will add a class name which is equal to form text and text danger and here we will write message and here we need key which is equal to type okay let's save this so error message is not exported okay error message one second let me error message copy this so we are getting some error attempt attempted import error error message is not exported from react hook form okay let's go to the browser so i got something here so we need to install this error message so let's copy this and here we need to stop the terminal by pressing ctrl c and let's paste it here and let's go to the browser and let's copy this and then let's go to the visual studio code here i'll paste it and here from here i'll remove it okay let's save this and then we can see we are getting error or not so let's install let's this installation get completed and then we can check now let's start the development server and pm start Still, we are getting some error. Object is not defined. So this O is capital. So let's save this. Now we need to go to browser. Okay. So we'll check for username. So here, if I don't write anything, username should be between six and fifteen character. Okay. So text is not getting read. So text danger. Text danger. Spelling is true text danger is correct this is not getting read okay let me check this is not getting into p tag so why this is happening so let's go to the browser and let's check so this uh, we are not getting in red that we will check okay that i'll check uh, because this we are not getting in the p tag okay if i open this here you can see we are not getting the p tag which we have added here so i don't know the reason why it is happening but i'll see i'll check okay so right now you just carry on with this okay we will just carry on with this and if i remove this so username is required okay now we need to copy this message and do it for the rest of uh, the inputs like email and all so let's do it for email so here i'll write email okay let's save this and then for password i'll write password then for confirm password let's save this and now let's go to the browser let's refresh once and let's check it okay so username should be between 6 and 15 if i don't put anything username is required now for email enter valid email now it is gone so now password should be at least eight character So we have successfully done the validation for uh, uh, our form by using React Hook forms. So now we will, uh, in the next lecture, we will add the buttons, okay? And we will do the validation for that. So 
this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye